six with their largest lead, seven. Well, this is just one of those games where Shaw just doesn't have the rhythm, doesn't have it going. And Lewis will come out, replaced by Chris Singleton, who had a marvelous first half with uh, two steals, two blocks, went two for two from the field, and just gives you that tough defense. Plus, the more we see about him, see him, the more it's obvious he knows how to play the game. Yeah. Contact, Carmelo scored the field goal, he'll go to the line. Boy, he is so good. Well, how about that Miami victory they pulled off in triple overtime? Yeah, that was pretty impressive. Uh, they had a huge lead, gave it up, but then ended up coming away with a triple overtime win. And to do it without Wade and James. LeBron James uh, and Wade both injured in street close. Well, Wizards have been in that situation before. You make a free throw and you win the game, and Atlanta just couldn't do it. So those little, little things that, I mean, you just have to take care of that. We're fortunate to get out of it, but they gave up two offensive rebounds, one off a missed free throw. These are the things that we're talking about being recommitted to, the little things, not allowing, not having that middle lip uh, lapse and allowing your opponents to take advantage. Stoudemire called for his third personal foul. Bill Walker and Tony Douglas come into the game. Walker drafted by the Wizards four summers ago. Short jumper not there. Stoudemire another rebound. He's got a double-double with 21 and 10. Winding down, here's Carmelo on a fading shot. And McGee, a nice rebound. Young for the long jumper, just off the back of the iron, trying to chase it down. And Singleton hustles after it. Boy, what a good play. Well, if Nick had kept it alive, Singleton ran it down. Young lays it up and gets it to bounce in. He lost control of that ball for a moment. 3.35 to play in the third. Douglas chased by McGee. Shot clock at two. Stoudemire pulls the trigger way short. McGee has the rebound. tonight they get good hustle here with the Nick almost the steal and then Singleton goes after it well Nick went after his own missed shot Singleton in position to take advantage of it it leads to this two here by Nick Young bubble it for a minute was able to regain it and put the two in Flatch gets a nice block on Stoudemire after he nearly traveled and wall will set it up wizard down by five Flatch thinking about it now he drives, has nowhere to go, fires for Young. Now to Singleton for the open jumper. Yes, indeed, he's got a shot. In the top five among rookies in three-point shooting percentage, seems like he makes at least one per game. Wizards on a seven to nothing run to cut it to two. That's blocked by Serafin. Wall, cross-court Young, drives. Contact, no call. Seraphim puts it up, missed it. Scrambling for it, Carmelo pulls it away. Bill Walker and traveling his ball. He was bothered when he saw Singleton, and he took too many steps yeah. before he dribbled. Again, give some credit to Chris Singleton for hustling back, getting in position. And there's the block. That's Kevin Serafin with the block. Washington with eight block shots for the game. What's McGee have? Three of them? Two. Nine. 
Singleton again. Just missed it. Rebound Walker. Under two three. to play in the quarter. Yes, yeah, about the JaVale. Yeah. Three of those blocks. Okay. Bibby for Anthony. Knicks have not been a good three-point shooting team this year. That's blocked inside. That's Serafin again. Yeah, they're 0 for 10 tonight. Wall drives. Some contact. Off the glass and in. It's flat. And we're tied at 66. A 9 to nothing Washington run. Singleton locked up with Carmelo for Bibby. They leave him alone. Wow. Well, you, you can just understand why D'Antoni wanted to get Bibby in. Always capable of hitting big shots and shooting a high percentage. The guard so far has been ineffective from the outside, so Bibby can do that to tighten up the defense. They leave Singleton alone. He buries another three. John Wall has been the kind of free safety to give help. I don't know if he's going to be. That's a charge. Offensive foul on Carmelo Anthony. It's his fourth personal. And the Wizards will get it back. And there's the block. And Washington pushes it down. John Wall finding the open man, and it's Black who finishes it right there at the rim. 11 for Blatch for John Wall, his eighth assist of the night. And a whistle and traveling is called on Washington. That is the Wizards' 19th turnover of the game. Tied at 69. Bibby again got a cover. Yeah, well, again, John has been used to playing free safety, giving help on both Stoudemire and Anthony. Of course, neither one of them in the game, so he definitely has to stay close to Bibby. He's knocked down his last two shots. He played all 20 postseason games with Miami last year. After basically giving up $6 million here in Washington. And that is the end of the third quarter. Well, it took the Wizards a little while to get in gear. The Knicks came back after trailing by one at halftime and led the Wizards by nine. But the Wiz came back to tie it a couple of times. Chris Singleton making a couple of long jump shots. The hot hand for Washington. 21 points to lead the Wizards in scoring, but Carmelo Anthony leads all scores with 27. As we've got a game here in D.C. JaVale McGee with eight rebounds, three blocks. John Wall, eight assists. Wizards, by the way, have tied their season high with 10 blocks in this game. They did it against Boston January 2nd. Follow slam by Booker. That's his natural hand, the left hand, and it was emphatic. Both hands are natural, it's just that that's a strong. <laughs> well, let's put it this way, that's his shooting hand, right? Wizards force the turnover. Now Jordan Crawford. Booker rips it down and scores. How about yes. him? Yes. He wanted that. Better than, if I can say that, than <laughs> Walker. <laughs> he looked like Ivan the Terrible last night for Atlanta. Got up with both hands and then fought for it once he got down. Wizards regained the lead by one. Here's Stoudemire. And McGee knocked it away. And knocked lucky, it out of bounds. Lucky he didn't get called and, for foul. Well, that's a You're right. 24 second violation. So it turns out to be a brilliant defensive play. Two turnovers in a row forced by Washington. Knicks have committed 17 on the night. Wizards 19. Here's McGee. Got Harrelson on him. Contact. 
Not sure what that was. Lays it up and in. Lots of contact. Looked like he caught his own shot for a moment, but as long as he didn't move his pivot foot, that's okay. Yeah, and, and I think one of the Knicks got a piece of it, too. Bibby is the only Nick to score in the last six and a half minutes. Bill Walker. And the fellow who was drafted by Washington four summers ago, but had his draft rights traded to Boston for cash. Scores on a one-handed slam. Singleton gets help from Shumpert. Leaves Crawford inside. He flips it up and missed it. He's 0 for 4. And a foul will be called as Stoudemire goes to the glass. He's greatest moment. And it's Jordan Crawford who spots Chris Singleton flying in for the alley-oop jam. Terrific night for Singleton with 10 points, six rebounds, a couple of blocks, a couple of steals. He's been outstanding. Yeah, he sure has. But the Knicks coming up with a couple of points on a follow slam, as we showed you on the replay, the ball in the cylinder. Randy Whitman and Flip Saunders try to plead their case with the officials for that play, but it stands. Crawford for McGee, tough pass to handle, and he turns it over. Yeah, that pass was really in a crowd. Tough for anybody to handle. Absolutely. That's close to being backcourt. Shot clock at nine. Shumper, good. Three-pointer for Iman Shumpert, the rookie from Georgia Tech, who was inactive for four games with a sprained right MCL. When you talk about the fact the Knicks don't shoot their threes very well. They're 19th in the league. Oh, yeah, good play. Good. But they do lead the league in attempts and in makes. They shoot a lot. Shumpert had four main threes in that game two nights ago against the Bobcats, so they've got to stay close to him. He and Bibby are in there. We've already seen what Bibby can do. Wizards started the quarter outscoring the Knicks 6 0 to go up 75 72. But a New York run since then has hurt Washington. 12 to 2 on the run, and Bibby gets another three. John Wall scores at the other end to get two back. The Nick lead is five with 740 to play in regulation. Knicks two and four. They've lost two in a row to Toronto and Charlotte. Wizards come off the loss in Orlando Wednesday, 103-85. They dropped their first six. Wow. He's got it going. Bibby this time a two-point field goal. Knicks signing him December 11th as a free agent. He's four for four this half. New York by seven. They've led by as many as nine. Singleton, very tough shot, and he hits it. A lot of contact coming from Walker, but good concentration and even better execution by Singleton. He is five of six from the field tonight. Into the corner, Walker misses on a three, McGee the rebound. Up ahead to Singleton. And he'll wait now. Wall in the paint. Throws it up. Had it blocked by Harrelson. Pretty defensive play by the rookie from Kentucky who played with John Wall two years ago. And a timeout taken by the Knicks with 6.29 to Nick Young has 21 for Washington, but how about the play from 33-year-old Mike Bibby in his 14th season, having a terrific second half here for New York. He's hit some gigantic jumpers. In fact, he's made all three of his three-point shots. Well, he's always been known as a guy that's uh, not afraid to take and make the big shot. And, uh, you know, you have a front line with people like Carmelo and Stoudemire, teams are gonna double team those guys. He's gonna be left open, he's taking advantage. Wizards have gotten a great game from their bench players like this guy Singleton, who gets the steal and he misses the slam. Started his jump a little too he did. soon. He was trying to come, cut off 
Some, one of the Knicks that was getting back on defense, that was Harrelson that was going to cut him off. And he knew that he had to get in front of him, so he kind of angled as opposed to going right towards the basket. And that was just enough to keep him at the front part of the rim. For more, let's check in with Chris Miller. Well, guys, I was going to say before Chris missed that, you know, Flip has an interesting lineup out here with Dre now at the five, but Singleton and Booker have really played hard tonight. Mm -hmm. They're making mistakes, but they're playing hard. They are playing hard. Each of them with at least five rebounds, and they've worked extremely hard and been aggressive and assertive. Iman Shumpert is four of ten from the field. He's got nine points and six assists tonight. It's a big basket there. Flash baseline, good. 13 only, points for him. Yeah, he's only missed two shots. He's six of eight. He shot the ball well. Only has one rebound, though. Five-point Nick Lee with 525 to play. Ooh, he nearly traveled. Now the jumper, and Carmelo hits again. 29 points for Melo. Wall the other way, lays it up, and gets the bounce. 16 for Wall with nine assists and four rebounds. Carmelo, the open jumper, he just doesn't miss, does he? No. And that's something that Chris is going to have to understand and realize that if he's going to be guarding Carmelo, he's got to stay very close to him. Try and give him as few open looks as possible. His first three-pointer of the game. And a loose ball foul is called on Singleton. Carmelo Anthony with 32 points, six boards, four assists. He's 14 of 25 from the field. And the Knicks, who, as we mentioned, started the game missing all 10 of their three-point shots have made five of their last six. Bibby, responsible for three of those, really picked up their perimeter game. Ooh, dangerous pass. And an offensive foul is called on Wall. Boy, you've got to see that. I mean, there was nowhere for John to go. There was two defenders on one side, and Bibby was on the other. He led him right into that pass. Not a good pass from Nick Young. See right there? I mean, he just had no room to operate. In fact, you see four jerseys around him. One more time. And that's that's the time better left. Either bring it up yourself or just hold that off until John gets himself open. Knicks by eight. Wizards fans calling for defense. Carmelo blocked away. Booker saves it. What a play. He goes over the billboard. Wall the other way. Contact. Score it. And he'll go to the line. Great hustle by Trevor Booker to keep that ball alive. Got the block on Carmelo Anthony and then Washington able to save it. There he gets it from behind. Takes over the signage there, but Washington comes up with possession. Great job. And from there, John takes it all the way. Wall unable to make the free throw. Wizards get it back. Blatch inside. Tip up not there. And a loose ball foul on the Wizards. Is that John Wall and they came over the back. He got uh, a running start. It is number four on John Wall. He got up there though. Knicks by six. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. That's all you can say. Steve, he has such a quick release on his jumper that you have to acknowledge that pump fake. That's just what Trevor does. He goes for it. And then the strength and the accuracy to drop in the shot off the glass. Now he's not content just to draw the foul. He wants to make the shot. Yeah. Thirty-four points for Mello. He's got 
The last seven for New York and a foul call. I tell you what, Schumper did a. He got the foul, but he looked like he grabbed John either around the shoulders or maybe above the shoulders. John went down hard. He's winching. Take another look, see. Like I said, very close to getting him above around the neck, but uh, clearly all he did was uh, he didn't make a play on the ball. No, I mean, that could have been a flagrant one. Wall now one of three from the free throw line tonight. Washington has not been to the line very much tonight. No. Seven for ten. Wall looking for his 20th point of the game with nine assists, four rebounds. He's got the last six points for the Wizards. They cut it to six. Shepard left alone. Two Wizards are there, and Booker pulls it away from Chandler. Wall the other way, contact, no call. Wizards turn it over. Turnover number 23 for the game, which has so far led to 27 New York points. the other way. He'll pull the trigger. And he has a three-pointer for Nick Young. That cuts it to three, and D'Antoni wants time. In times of need, go to your hot shooter. And he has been that tonight. 24 points to lead the Wizards in scoring. Nick Young has made four three-pointers for the game. The Wizards have cut the Nick lead to three. For this, for the closing minutes tonight of what's been a spirited game between these two teams. Stoudemire called as he stepped on the line and turned it over. Thinking about pulling up for the shot and then at the last moment decided to push off. When you do that, you have a tendency to step back to push off. Stepped out of bounds. Good point. So the Wizards get it back, a chance to tie. Flip Saunders yelling offensive instructions for McGee. They swing it to Blatch. Gives it up to McGee. The jumper. And a long rebound gives him another chance. McGee, pass inside, Blatch, he scores. Wizards on a 7 nothing run have cut it to one. I like the fact that they didn't even bother thinking about the three. They were looking at working the ball inside. Two good heads-up passes from JaVale McGee. Latch is 7 of 11 tonight, has 15 points. That's rejected by McGee. And the Wizards save it. Up ahead to McGee. And he's fouled from behind. He'll shoot two. What a sequence by Washington. It sure was. At the one end, you have JaVale coming up with a timely block. Look at that. He comes off of Tyson Chandler. Dre able to save, and he gets the ball up. Bibby, all he could do is commit the foul, force him to go to the free throw line. Fourth block of the game for JaVale McGee, who came in second in the league in block shots. And he's at the free throw line, where he's one for one tonight. He had one early on in the game. Came into this contest shooting just 47% from the line, 9 of 19. He's got one more to try to tie it. Ends up being a really smart play by Mike Bibby. Stoudemire off 
the screen, not there. What a rebound. He went over Chandler. Wall the other way for the short jumper. Knocked out of bounds by Wall. New York ball with 107 to play. Well, he took it with a lot of confidence. I'll give him that. He pulled up. There was no question in his mind. Yeah. Just a little strong. And again, you're, you're talking about a young man. I'm not making excuses, but he's in a second. He has to learn when to be that scorer and when to be the distributor. Find the hot hand. He can always get those kind of shots. Carmelo's had a hot hand for New York. He misses that. Blatch pulls down a strong rebound. Two on two. Wall again. And he scores. What a contact. No call. The Wizards take the lead by one. 45 seconds to play. D'Antoni calls an offensive play. Carmelo pulls up on Booker. Misses. Blatch. It's kicked out to Carmelo. They can reset. Washington by a point. And a timeout in New York. 24 and 3 tenths seconds to play. 18 to shoot. A 20-second timeout taken by the Knicks. You gotta believe Carmelo Anthony a little tired. He's taken 32 shots, plus he's had people like Singleton and Trevor Booker hanging all over him. Second chance points has been big, especially for the Knicks. But Washington comes up with two of their own right there. Trevor Booker. Trevor Booker again. Carmelo for three. How about that? What a big shot to give him 37 points for the game. His second three-pointer of the night. And it is huge. And I mentioned before that he probably was tired. He's 16 for 33. Now watch him step behind his pick. Trevor Booker a little slow in getting over. Wants to make sure he goes over. Boy, oh, he, that's what happened. He caught an elbow to the face that kind of stunned him just for a minute. That enabled Carmelo to get open. Watch one more time. Right there, catches him in the face. Yeah. That's why he was so wide open. And the Wizards... Oh, I should say the Knicks bench reacting to the play. The Wizards bench wanted an offensive foul, Phil. And, you know, veteran players are good at that kind of thing. Yeah. They use that off arm to get space. They'll use it to get any advantage they can. And I can't emphasize enough the strength of Carmelo Anthony. I mean, I remember seeing him in high school. Of course, at Syracuse, you saw him the one year he was there. And coming into the pros, he has tremendous strength. And it's not something that, you know, he just leashes out and pushes you. But when he moves that upper body, he moves people away from him. He's got the last 10 points for New York. And the Knicks go up by two. The ninth lead came to the game with 15.5 seconds to play. So the Wizards can tie it or take the lead. And the shot clock is off. Washington has a 20-second timeout left. The Knicks have a full timeout. Both teams are in the penalty. Nick Young will toss it in for Washington with Wall, Singleton, McGee and Blatch. Blatch baseline for Wall. He'll take a long jumper. Singleton pulls it down, throws it back up. He rushed the shot a little bit, and New York gets the rebound. I'm not sure he knew what the time was. He didn't have to throw it up quite that quickly. As a result, I think he rushed it a little bit. There's still three, three and a half, three point seven seconds left. They move the ball around. Blatch gets inside, kicks it back out. That's a three. Keep in mind, they're only down two. That was for the win. You're right. Didn't really get his legs. Singleton didn't get his legs underneath and didn't get much lift. So the ball, the shot came up short. Jumper at the line for the first time tonight. Makes the first. 
He had come into the game making all seven of his free throws this season, so he remains perfect. Nick Young also remaining perfect tonight. He came in making all 24 of his free throws, and he's made two tonight. But this is a big one. Missed it. Timeout Washington with two and eight ten seconds on the clock. Now the Wizards need a three to tie this game. Yeah. That's understood by both sides. So obviously New York is going to be shading everything, trying to keep Washington inside the three-point line. Our Crop Metcalf Wizards player of the game tonight, Nick Young with 24 points. He's made four of six three-pointers. Three rebounds, a couple of assists. He leads the Wizards in scoring. John Wall has 22 points with nine assists and five rebounds. That's, McGee has 13 and 10. I think it's safe to say we have seen an improved play, more inspiration, some of it coming from guys off the bench Absolutely. like Booker and Singleton. Absolutely. Yeah, there's no question in my mind this is, I think, collectively and overall, their best effort of the year so far. They've had a good effort in the second half against Boston. Obviously, great first quarter against New Jersey. But you could tell they came out at the beginning of this game with a purpose. Here we go. 2.8 seconds to play. Wall has to get it in. He does. Nick Young to tie it. Just missed it. And the New York Knicks have hung on to hand the Wizards their seventh consecutive loss in seven games and also the seventh time overall that the Knicks have beaten the Wizards. The final 99-96 as we check our Morgan Franklin pivotal play and it was Carmelo Anthony, the Baltimore, Maryland native with 37 points and he hit the biggest shot of the game, this three-pointer that gave the Knicks a two-point lead. 37 for Melo, 23 for Stoudemire. Wizards led by Nick Young with 24.